Oh, that breeze has to be for a beautiful day. And last night we had a thunderstorm and we got a little over an inch of rain that we badly needed because we haven't seen much rain actually since early June. And this is mid-July now. Home on the farm is quite a grip. Anyhow, so today's project is we're going to install a screen door here on top of this patio door. This is a really unique patio door. This screen doesn't move, it doesn't slide, it doesn't swing, it's fixed. And the glass door inside actually opens traditionally with the traditional swing, or you can close it, lock it, and then tilt the top back so only the top portion is open, which we really like on a night here at the cottage. But unfortunately, we can't come in and out this portion here, in and out of the kitchen or the dining room area. And unfortunately, every once in a while, somebody does by mistake walk through the screen, which then necessitates, of course, rescreening the door or rescreening it. So today, we're going to frame it out with this one inch cedar that I've lightly planed one side, so it's actually down to about 15 sixteenths of an inch, and jointed one edge, so I have a nice clean edge to put on the ripping fence. And then we're going to use that screen door over there. It's got an insert that I'm going to put in the bottom just to dress things up. It's not necessary structurally. And as you can see, I removed the screen. I'm also going to trim a half inch off the top and the bottom before we stain it. Once it's stained, we'll put the insert in, put the screen back in, and uh, we'll stain the lumber as well before we fit it and frame out the door. So let's head over to the table saw and rip some of the lumber we need. Little buggy back with more peanuts. <laughs> and there's one on the floor. And as soon as Shorty's on the floor, and this is uh, this is Chippy. You wait till Shorty finds out Chippy's up here. Well, here we go. There they go. I'll get you some more, but just give me a sec. Shorty always takes three. Here you go, Shorty. Another one. Oh, that's it for now. Anyhow, we're completely off grid. So to operate this table saw today, we're going to get the electrical energy from our solar system. The lights that are on behind me when I run a chop saw today, the TV my wife is watching, she's quilting, she's ironing as she quilts. All that energy comes from the sun. I find that just amazing for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's it's environmentally friendly, more importantly, or as importantly, it doesn't cost me anything. We've had our solar system now for seven years, and that means we have had, we have not had an electrical bill for seven years, so it's more than paid for itself. Alrighty, time to saw some lumber. the door to cut the end, the top and the bottom of the door. <laughs> and my two little buddies are back. Here's Shorty and here's Chippy. Come on, bud. <laughs> I'm using a pencil I got from my father-in-law's stash. And it is from Charlton Motors Limited, your Shell Chevolds dealer. That's an old pencil. Just like my pencil has a story, my little battery-powered skill saw has a story. <laughs> As I say that, I've got two chipmunks coming up to say hello. Come on up, guys. I was hoping to get one of these someday, and they really only come in a set. One day at an auction sale, there was a job lot sold of cordless tools, and he threw this in with them. Well, I sure didn't need any more cordless drills or battery powers. Well, here we go. I better feed Chippy here. Come on, Chippy. 
I didn't need any more batteries or cordless tools, so I, did, I didn't buy this job lot. The gentleman that did, I went up to him afterwards and I said, hey, would you consider selling the skill saw? And he said, well, I really didn't want it. I just wanted the blank, blank, blank. So I was able to buy the skill saw from him for $20. He was happy. I was happy. It was a win-win situation. Now let's use it. Love it. Isn't that amazing all with the battery? My wife and her infinite wisdom suggests that I take off my good work shirt and put on a t-shirt with caulking on it and stain on it and paint on it and some welding holes burned in it. I don't blame her. <laughs> so I'm going to use two methods to apply the stain. I'm going to use a, a brush to cut in all the areas that I can't get at with this pad because the pad puts a beautiful consistent coat on. Look at all the chipmunks running around here. <laughs> It's a beautiful, consistent coat on everything, fast and easy. So I'll cut in with a brush and then finish it with this pad. out of both sides here and here. It was horrible. It was old mono and the cottage I think is about oh, 27, 28 years old now and the mono was as hard as granite. So I'm putting back in permanent silicone. Hopefully it'll never get that hard. So I cut out the old caulking, cleaned it up and now I'm going to run a bead down this side as well. And then I smooth it with a caulk trowel. first trip through the new door. tell you I was excited last night to put the door in place and when I did I'll show you what I found. The door touches the jam there and there but not there. So the first thing that would go through your mind, oh here's Shorty, is that this door jams crooked but remember all the care I put on with a level? It isn't. It's actually the door. This side of the door nice and straight. This side of the door it's got a big wow in it. So I'm going to take the door off and I'm going to plane this area and that area. I could install it like that, but it would look horrible seeing that gap like that. So I'll take it back off and we'll see if we can plane it straight. Let's give that a try and see how it looks. Fantastic. Now we'll put the hinges in the door. So we'll mount the hinges and then we'll set the door. to its 
been a beautiful summer's day. It's a little cooler now. There's a wonderful gentle breeze blowing. And a boat just pulled up over there and with a gang of men fishing. I can see a mallard duck landing. And a hummingbird just came up to the feeder while I was saying that, which is right there. Anyhow, the screen door is done. I had a lot of fun. And what I thought would take two or three hours, it took substantially longer, but oh well, I'm at the cottage. That's all about the journey. Anyways, we hope you've enjoyed today's video. All that's left for me now is to head inside and have supper with my bride. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again on Out of the House with Paul. Thank you.